Hey y'all, uh, I appreciate y'all watching my videos and everything, and uh, I had to take down that last video I shot of the micron gauge. Uh, I kind of got disgusted with myself. I'm, I'm my own worst critic, and I don't know guys, I just like to do a professional job, and and if I can't do something right, it kind of I kind of get disgusted with my, myself. I guess I'm, you know, I'm kind of hard on myself, and I shouldn't be. Um, you know, I am trying to take it to the next level here, so... Just bear with me. Let me get this oil changed, and uh, I got some new fittings for the uh, pump there, so we can actually run it directly off the pump. See if uh, see if the pump's in good shape, and uh, then we'll uh, do a little micron testing. Okay, thanks for watching, y'all. Okay, y'all, we're back down to the basement here, and I've got my new oil in my vacuum pump there. And what I'd like to do is maybe test out my vacuum pump to see if I'm, I'm hoping it's not a problem, but. Uh, you know, we'll investigate and see. I'm hoping she's going to pull down into a deep vacuum quick. Um, what I had here was, uh, these are the old Schrader uh, core removers that y'all turned me on to, Jace turned me on to, with the ball valves on them. And here's that old yellow small hose I had, and it just has the one female end on it. Um, this is actually built into it. Well, it's threaded on there, but it'd be a pain in the butt. You'd actually have to turn your hose to thread it on something. So while I was out, I went out to United Refrigeration today, and I found another yellow hose in there, and this one actually, you, you can actually remove this doodah here. So now I've got a, uh, I've got uh, uh, two female ends here. Uh, while I was out today too, I bought uh, one of these. It comes with a ferrule. I've got a, a three eighths, I believe that's what what size that is. Three eighths coming off my my pump, and it's a T, and the other two are five eighths. And it came with this little sealing ferrule here. I also bought uh, some of these T doodahs. So what I've done was I've actually taken this here and I've put it on here with that little ferrule there to get a good seal. And I was thinking about actually maybe putting this T on here like so. And then actually, well actually, I'm, I could actually just take that little hose right there instead of even, I don't even know why I bought those. Maybe they'll come in handy for something. But I could actually take and uh, put this little hose here and maybe uh, pull my micron through this while I've actually got my, my uh, regular hoses, my uh, manifold hoses hooked to this, like this, or I was actually going to uh, test my vacuum pump, maybe hooking like this, and actually have the, the, you know, the gauge hooked on it like this. So, I don't know. Uh, what do y'all think? Uh, I was watching Yellow Jacket, and they had it hooked basically close to the unit okay on that yellow jacket video they had but uh, a lot of my buddies are saying uh, I guess there's so many different ways but you know some are telling me to take vacuum uh, use my, my uh, micron gauge right here at my vacuum and then I've got other people telling me to uh, pull it uh, directly from where I'm uh, at my unit so let me uh, get on here and I appreciate appreciate all your input guys I I just got upset with myself the other day. That's the reason I took that down. It's, it's not, nothing about nobody at all, okay? Um, I appreciate each and every one of y'all, okay? But uh, let me get after this for a minute and see what we got. Y'all, I've opted to go this way with it. And let's fire it up and give her a try. See what we got. We open her up. Jason said I need to... Ooh, man. I think I only got like down to like 220 last time, y'all. And... Jason was saying I needed to be at least 50 to 25, and it looks like we're going to see that. I guess it's all about changing that oil, ain't it? My goodness. Man, she's coming on down, thank God. I was hoping it wasn't my pop. Come on down. pretty quick I mean what's it been about a minute now and I'm down to 28 come on 25 come on 25 there she is
man. That's like good, man. Ten. Let's get down to single digits here. Come on with it. I'm sure this is very exciting watching this, but it's believe it or not, it's really exciting to me. Man, I appreciate all the input, guys. I just want to get this right. I'm a stickler for doing stuff right. Oh, that was about jumping from six to eleven. Okay, she's down to six now, guys. Five. Okay, she's down to five now, guys. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to isolate it. Jason told me not to be, uh, don't trip out because it will rise. As long as it doesn't rise, uh, I believe he said like above atmosphere or two atmospheric pressure, which I believe is what, like 76,000, 75,000. Dang on, man. She is going down. Hold on. Hold on a minute. I'm going to hold, hold with her. You're gonna hang it too, guys. Okay, two microns. Oh, one micron. Two microns. Well, let's see some negative. One micron. I would think it's pretty daggone good. Okay, zero microns. One micron. Okay, y'all, let's, uh, we're at zero microns here. Looks like she's holding there. I don't know if she got a negative on here or not. But I'd say she sucked her down real good. Now, Jason said she's going to take off rising on me, but, uh, like I just, like I just explained, as long as she didn't, I guess, get to, like, atmospheric pressure or whatever. But, anyway, let's, uh, Let's shut her down and see what she does. Okay, she's off. Got the check valve close. Hello? Hey, what's up, man? You're on camera. Uh, camera. Yeah. Man, I got her down to like, uh, she shot straight down to 25 microns. I got her down to zero microns. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I guess that pump's pretty good then. And then, uh, like Jason was telling me, once I shut the check valve, I, this is just on the pump itself now. I shut the check valve, and he said it would take off going up, you know, rising. But as long as I didn't hit the atmospheric pressure, that I should be okay. Now, I believe she's going to hang like, she's starting to hang like at a thousand microns. A thousand. Does that sound cool? A thousand fifty, eleven hundred. But she's not shooting up like she was. It's just like she's hanging there. Yeah. Yeah, and then she pulled the vacuum again. She fired that vacuum back up and pulled it down. It probably should drop, you know, if it raised back up, it wouldn't get above that. Probably 900. But you're good. Okay, cool, man. Cool. Yeah, can you believe that thing pulled down to zero? It took it. It took it about. Okay, y'all. It's been uh, 15 minutes, and I'm hanging at 1,300 microns, and she has not moved. She's isolated off. Power's off. She's hanging at 13. Okay, y'all. Uh, I'm gonna leave that uh, the. Uh, micron gauge in line like that while I pull a vacuum on here and see what it looks like on that on that uh, uh, position but uh, let's go ahead and pull these Schraders I'm digging the Schrader tool man I'll get right back with y'all <laughs> dang old boy you got 
You got Miss Piggy and the bones. Miss Piggy, your pillow? Come on, let's go see if she's hanging at 1300. Come on. I went on up and edited the footage that I already had, and uh, she's still hanging at 1300, guys. So uh, let me get busy here. Okay, y'all, time to purge the testos. Okay, y'all, we got the traders pulled here on the coil. We got everything hooked up, testos fired up. We got the subco on there and micron gauge getting ready to rock. Let's uh, let's go ahead and just open everything up, open all the valves. Everything gonna be open here. That's open. All right, fire up the subco. Okay, let's open her up, guys. Oh my god. Why help I opened it? Damn, that's the deepest I've ever been on the test coast. Usually negative 30. 2,000 microns, 1,900 microns, 16. Yeah, we're going to be a minute. Yeah, she's dropping pretty good, though. Like Eagle Tech was telling me, 500 microns is uh, is uh, good for residential, 100 for uh, commercial refrigeration. Um, some equipment will differentiate. Like in my American Standard uh, book, I just uh, uh, install I did over at Carl's, it required 350, I believe, or that's what American Standard wants you to achieve for. But like uh, Eagle Tech was saying, Quan, 500 is that magic number. Yeah. I'm gonna try it several different ways. I know y'all don't want to sit here for 20 minutes watching this, so I'll, I'll, I'll come right back to it. Good gravy, y'all. I went upstairs and edited it some more and uh, gave it about 45 minutes, and uh, we're down to 33 microns. So I would say that she's cool right now, okay? I'd say we got a good uh, a good uh, vacuum on her. All right, y'all. Let me. Uh, I'm gonna have to do this in two parts. I'm gonna try and uh, try the micron gauge in a different position. All right, y'all. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Certainly do appreciate all the help, fellas. Bye. All right, y'all. Before I head on up to do this one, uh, she's hanging at 1250, guys. Hanging tight at 1250. Everything is locked out. Hanging tight at 1250.